So let's talk about how long does negative information report to your credit reports? Sturgis Credit Repair is a five-star rated online credit repair company. We help people just like you build or rebuild their credit scores. If you have no credit history, we offer products to help you build credit history so that you never have to depend on anyone co-signing for you. If you have bad credit, enroll into our service today and allow us to work on the negative items affecting your credit scores. We take no money up front, so start our service today for free. You'll get updated through your online account as well as receiving updates through your email. For those who are trying to buy a home, we're partnering with multiple real estate agents and loan officers who are ready to assist you with your goals. If you are a real estate agent, loan officer, or anyone depending on customers with good credit, create a free partner account with us today. You can manually send or receive clients through your online account as well as track their progress before they go to someone else. Visit our website to learn more about our services. The biggest concern or question people have with negative accounts on their credit report is how long does this re uh, report to their credit reports and how long would it affect their credit scores? Well, to answer that, a very long time. So uh, when you have positive or negative information reported to your credit reports, after that account has closed, it remains reported to your credit reports for seven years. So. Uh, regardless if the account is positive, meaning you have no late payment history on it, or if the account is negative, meaning a debt collector is reporting it, you stop paying, you missed a few payments, you were late on some payments, all of that information still reports to your credit report for seven years after the account is closed. So uh, if I had a loan on a vehicle and I finally paid the vehicle off, however, even though I didn't miss any payments on it and I have a perfect 100% payment history, that account will still report to my credit report for seven years. If I had that same loan account and if I missed payments, maybe three late payments or I uh, was late paying on the account three times, once that vehicle is paid off and the account is closed, it still reports to my credit report for seven years. So regardless if it's positive or negative, that account will report to your credit report for seven years. Now, when it comes to public records such as bankruptcies, uh, judgments, evictions, things like that, those public records report to your credit reports for 10 years. So that's a super long time to have your credit scores uh, damage from something, you know, that could have been avoided or something uh, that may can uh, get removed way before seven to 10 years. And I'll talk about that shortly. So a lot of people ask, hey, um, if this information reports for seven years, I can't keep bad credit all of those years. What can I do today to fix my credit score? So you really have three main options. Number one, you can come over here to uh, SturgisCreditRepair.com. You see our credit repair um, service here. Once you get to the website, you need to go to Credit Repair Details. This is gonna answer all of your questions. If you scroll down here, you can see some of the laws that we have to uh, follow. So it is illegal for us to charge money up front. We can't uh, promise any uh, fake promises or uh, fake guarantees. I can't say that I'm gonna make your credit score perfect in one week because it's impossible. Um, there's no contract. I can't tell you you can't cancel or can't charge you one year worth of fees. You can read up on all of those Credit Repair Organization Act laws there in this link here. But most importantly, scroll down here and this is going to explain everything about our service, how much it costs, how it works, how long it takes. Um, so at the end of the day, credit repair can possibly get most of this information removed off of your credit report within months versus leaving crap on your reports for seven years. Number two, the next thing you want to do is keep building credit, keep adding positive credit uh, credit accounts to your reports. You know, that way, eventually those positive accounts are going to override those negative accounts as they get older. They're going to override those negative accounts and keep increasing your credit score so that you can start getting approved for items um, or financing versus keeping bad credit forever. And of course, there's option three, which I just mentioned, keep bad credit for all of those years. A lot of people say, well, I ruined my credit and if it falls off in seven years, I don't need credit repair. I don't need to keep building credit. 
uh, with secured accounts. I'm going to just let this stuff fall off in seven years or 10 years. The only bad thing about that, you know, that is good. You don't want to pay for a service or waste your time trying to do it on your own. That is good. But uh, if you let this stuff stay on for seven years, what happens when your vehicle breaks down? You don't have money to buy a new car and now you have to finance a new car, but you can't because you have bad credit. Or let's say something happens to the house that you're uh, financing. The house, hope it doesn't, but the house catches on fire or the house gets flooded during a, a, a major storm or something. Or some damage happens to your house, you don't have the funds available and you need a loan to help it cover, uh, recover some of those uh, or cover some of those expenses. So you definitely need credit. You know, it doesn't matter if you're using it for personal use or investments or business purposes. You definitely need a good credit score to get approved for those uh, funding purposes. Um, so outside of that, that is all regarding what you can do to kind of speed up the process or not speed up the process. And that answers the question of how long some of this negative accounts uh, reports to your credit report. So you have any more questions outside of how long does negative or positive information reports to your credit report, feel free to reach out to us and I can answer all of your questions regarding your credit scores or your personal credit reports. Thank you for watching or listening to this episode. If this video helped you, be sure to like it, comment, share it, and subscribe to this channel for more helpful videos like this one. Thanks for watching.